and thank you for joining me for another Winning Wednesday video. So the encouraging words for this week are walking in the promises of the Lord. So there may be some of you out there that are thinking about these promises that the Lord has placed in your heart. Maybe he's promised you a new job, a new environment, a new space. It could be anything that the Lord has promised you. And you're thinking about those things and you're wondering, when am I going to get to this promise? When is this promise going to be manifested in my life? I want to encourage you today that you are no different from the children of Israel, whom when they were right at the point of getting ready to go into the promised land, their leader, who the Lord appointed, Joshua, stood there before them and declared that they would enter into this promised land. So I'm here to encourage you today that you will enter into this promise, whatever it is that the Lord has in front of you, you will enter into this promise. Trust and believe that even though you are standing there in front of those promises, and it may look like the Jordan River, so vast, so depthful, so frightening, and you can see your promise on the other side, and you're thinking to yourself, how can I cross this? How can I walk over this? I can see my promise. It's right there in front of me. How can I get there? I want you to trust and believe that it's not going to be you that does it. It is only through the work of the Lord, through his Holy Spirit, through his leading and through his guiding that you will be able to walk in those promises. The Lord is going to part that sea for you so that you can walk through on dry land. So in the book of Joshua, chapter four, verse numbers 23 to 24, it says, for the Lord your God dried up the Jordan before you until you had crossed over. So you are standing there, right there at that Jordan River, and you see your promises, they're on the other side, and you're thinking back behind you, and you're saying, how can I cross this? This is too much for me, and it is. It is too much for you, but it is not too much for God. So God will cause whatever that thing is that is blocking you from getting to that promised land. He's going to part it so that you can walk through it. And once you walk through it, then he will close that door. For the Lord your God dried up the Jordan River before you until you crossed over. The Lord your God did this to the Jordan, did what the Lord your God did to the Jordan River, what he had done to the Red Sea. When he dried it up before until we had crossed over. He did that so that all the peoples of the earth might know that the hand of the Lord is powerful and so that you might always fear the Lord your God. So there is a purpose. There is a reason why it seems like that promise is so difficult. Have you started to prepare yourself mentally to be able to walk into this promise? Have you started to prepare everything about you physically and spiritually to walk into this promise. The people of Israel, they were ready. God knew that their hearts were ready. Their minds were ready. They were ready physically. They were now being obedient. They were now ready to hear whatever it is that the Lord had them to do. And they were going to be obedient. But then he also says, I'm going to do this for you. And I want you to remember how I did it for you before, because way back then I made a promise and I will fulfill my promise to you in your life. So don't forget that I have the power to get you through and have you walk into your promise where I know you are destined to be. I can do that in, in me, trust in me, and I will do that for you. So today, if you are standing before a river Jordan, that seems as though you can't cross it and you see that your promise is right over there. 
Trust and believe that God is going to part that seed for you, that God is going to make it so easy and so plain for you to walk right through it. You can walk in the promises of the Lord, but you have to be ready physically, mentally, and spiritually, and emotionally. You must be ready to walk in those promises. And remember that God's promises are always true. They will never fail. They will always come to pass. Remember all the other promises that he's had you walk through. Remember your old Red Sea. Remember those old things that you brought before him that seemed like they were not going to be able to be accomplished or you weren't going to be able to walk in that victory and you were able to. Why? Because the Lord moved some things out of the way for you so that you can be able to walk through today. Whatever it is, continue to stand there and wait on the Lord so that he can part that sea for you. And the moment that he parts that sea for you, begin to walk. Walk in faith. Walk in trust. Walk in hope. Walk in obedience, knowing that the Lord has done a mighty thing for you. And it's not going to be just for you, but it is for all of the world to see that he will get the glory and that you will remember that God is a miracle working God and that God is one that can be trusted. God is yet one to be feared. God is one to be obedient to. God is able. He can do all things. In him, all things are possible. So friends, today I encourage you to walk in those promises. Don't get discouraged by the River Jordan that's in front of you. But prepare yourselves so that you can walk in the promises of God. Thank you for joining me and I'll see y'all next week. Yeah.